Hi everyone, Kevin here. Today, I wanna to show you how you can turn on dark mode in Microsoft Word. Wait, hold up. Microsoft Word has had dark mode for a while. Why am I making a video on this? Well, in the past, when you turn on dark mode, it only changed the ribbon to dark, but the actual document canvas itself was still white. And when you think of dark mode, that's really only going about halfway there. Microsoft got a ton of feedback that it just wasn't good enough. So they went back and now when you turn on dark mode, it changes the canvas to dark as well. We're gonna take a look at how you can turn that on. I'll also jump into some of the nuances of the feature. All right, well, why don't we jump on the computer and let's see how we can make things look darker. Here I am in Microsoft Word, and I don't know about you, but this is extremely bright. And especially when you're sitting in front of a document for a very long time, it really starts to strain your eyes. Let's go ahead and turn on some dark mode. It's extremely easy to do. Go to the top left-hand corner and click on the file menu. Within file, let's go down to the bottom left-hand corner and click on account. Within the account view, right about halfway down, there's an option called office theme. And by default, it's set to the colorful theme. This is the very bright experience that we saw on the previous page. Here you have a few different options like dark gray, black, and white. If we wanna take advantage of the new black theme or the dark mode, let's click on black right here. And look at that, it's already changed the account screen to the new dark mode. Let's jump back into the document to see what types of changes happened. This drops us back onto the canvas and up above, you can now see that dark mode is applied to the top ribbon, but the new feature here is dark mode is also applied to the canvas. So you now have dark mode everywhere. And yes, my eyes can finally relax a little bit. Now, one of the really nice touches that I like about this dark mode, if you look at the text here, it's a little bit more muted and a little less vibrant to what we saw when we had the colorful theme on. And this makes it a little bit more visually pleasing when using dark mode. When you turn on dark mode, not only does it apply it to Word, but it also applies it to all of your other Office applications. So it's really kind of like a universal setting. Here, if I pull over Microsoft PowerPoint, here you see that it's turned on dark mode here as well. And if I bring over Microsoft Excel, you can see dark mode turned on here too, except they kind of missed the memo. Here you'll see that in both Excel and in PowerPoint, the ribbon is in dark mode, but hey, what about the canvas? Why don't they follow Word's lead? I wouldn't be surprised if in the near future, we see yet another update to dark mode where it does the same type of treatment to the canvas with both Excel and also PowerPoint. Back now within Microsoft Word, let's say that maybe you preferred having the dark ribbon up on top, but you liked having the white canvas in back. Or maybe you simply wanna to jump to the white canvas to check out what your text looks like when it's gonna be on a white background. You can still very easily toggle back and forth between the dark background for the canvas and the light background. Up here on the top tabs, let's click on view. And there's now a new option right here for dark mode that says switch modes. When we click on this, this will toggle between the light canvas and here I could go back to the dark canvas. And once again, when I mentioned the muted colors, here you can really see it. Look how vibrant these colors are right here. And when I switch back into dark mode, you can really see how they're a little bit more muted. So you can very easily toggle back and forth between these two different modes. Now, when you have your document with the dark ribbon and the light background, if that's your preferred way of working, well, unfortunately here, if I close Word, and let's say I reopen the same document again in Word, you'll notice that this one setting that we set over here where you could switch the modes, it doesn't persist. So here we're right back again to the dark background. What if you wanna use dark mode, but you wanna keep the canvas white all the time? Luckily, there's a setting that allows you to configure this. Let's go up to the top left-hand corner and click on the file menu. And within file, let's go all the way down to the bottom left-hand corner and click on options. Within options under the general view, right down here, there's a new setting for office theme. And here too, you can also change your office theme. So you could change it under both account and you could also change it under options. When we have the black theme selected, there's now a checkbox that says disable dark mode. When you check this box and click on OK, that'll change the canvas to white. So when you reopen your Word document again, it'll persist the white background. 
I'm now back in dark mode and one question you might have is, well, if I turn on dark mode, does that affect the documents when I print it out? And it doesn't have any impact at all. And just to test that out, let's go to the file menu and let's go over to print. And here I'll print out this document to a PDF and let's take a look to see what it looks like. I just printed my document as a PDF. Let's click into the file and let's check it out. And look at that, it printed the file and all the colors look exactly as they should and it has a white background. So once again, by selecting the dark theme, it won't impact what your document looks like when you print it. You now have all the knowledge you need to be able to turn on dark theme. Now let's say you go through all of the steps, but you discover that you can't actually turn it on yet. It could be because Microsoft is still rolling this feature out. Anytime Microsoft completes a new feature, they'll roll it out to a small percentage of users first, and then they'll continue expanding it and exposing it to a larger percentage of users. This allows Microsoft to make sure that the feature is working as expected and to get feedback. And so if they need to make any changes, they have the opportunity to do that. Now, if you don't like waiting, me, for example, I don't like waiting for these new features. I like seeing them as soon as possible. You can opt into the Office Insider program and this will give you access to features first. To opt into the Office Insider program, let's go up to the top left-hand corner and click on the File menu. And just like we did at the very beginning of this video, let's go down and click on Account. Within Account, over on the right-hand side, you'll see an option for Office Insider. If you're not yet an Office Insider, you can opt into the program. Once you've already opted into the program, you can choose the channel that you wanna be part of. So what is a channel? Well, let's click on this and I'll explain. When we click on Office Insider, you can choose your channel. And when I click on this, there are two different channels that you can sign up for. There's something called the current channel and there's something else called the beta channel. Basically what Microsoft does is first when they finish a feature, they'll expose it to the beta channel. So basically you get to see the newest features first. Once it's a little bit more baked and a little bit more stable, they'll move it up to the next channel, which is the current channel. So this is a larger audience, more people get to use it, more people get to give feedback. And once it goes through the current channel, then the next step is to make it available to the general public. At that point, when it goes out to the general public, a whole bunch of people have already used it, a lot of people have already given feedback, and so it should be very stable at that point. Now with the dark mode, this is currently only available to the beta channel. So if you wanna be able to start taking advantage of this today, I'd recommend signing up to be an Office Insider and then opt into the beta channel. Now you might be wondering, is it worth the risk of signing up for the beta channel? It seems kind of risky doing that. When I worked at Microsoft, we were on a channel that was even earlier than the beta channel. And sure, we ran into issues and we fixed issues, but the important thing was to make sure that we fixed these issues before they became available to an even broader set of people. By the time a feature makes it to the beta channel, it's already pretty baked and pretty stable. So I think it's relatively safe to move to this channel. But once again, if you're running mission critical applications in say Excel or maybe in Word, uh, you might wanna be a little bit more cautious. All right, well, hopefully now your eyes are a little bit more relaxed. If they are, please give this video a thumbs up. To see more videos like this in the future, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, if you wanna see me cover any other topics on this channel, leave a note down below. All right, well, that's all I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed, and as always, I hope to see you next time. Bye.